All right, guys. So I thought I would do a little walk around on my bike today to show you what mods I have and everything that I have done to it. Um, so yeah, we'll go back here, find a place to park, and then I will start. Alright guys, so this is my 2014 Yamaha F09 that I bought brand new back in, obviously, 2014. Um, the very first thing I did to it after I got it was the M4 exhaust, slip-on exhaust, and then um, the SL, or LSL frame sliders. That was the second thing. I did those two, like maybe like a month after I bought it um, and then after that I did grave block off plates which I can't really show you that because they're down and underneath here I have uh, grave hand grips um, the RAM mount for my phone which I love and then I also have a USB charger right here I don't know if you can see that Right there to charge my phone. Um, Graves license plate, the fender eliminator kit, and then I had to add these little lights because the Graves system, when I got it, did not come with the light. I don't know if it does now or not. And uh, by the way, I will put everything that I'm talking about. Um, down in the description there will be links for it I'll try to find links to everything like a lot of the stuff was done a few years ago so they might not make it anymore I'm not really too sure but I'll find out um, what else oh yeah the heck is that I have the Yamaha front windshield accessory. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Don't think there's much more than that. Basically, all the main bolt on stuff that you can do to it is done. So. It's just a really fun bike to ride, and I love it. And one of my most favorite things about the bike, which you don't really notice it when you're riding it, but if you go to another bike that doesn't have it, you'll notice, and that is the uh, gear indicator, which is right there really nice to have because sometimes like you forget what gear you're in and um, if you go to a bike that doesn't have it you will notice a big difference or at least I do anyway but yeah this was actually my first bike that I ever had I have never ridden before this bike not even um, dirt bikes or anything like that this was my very first time riding, and what is that person doing? Um, anyway, yeah, very first time riding was on this bike, and it's just a very comfortable, very fast bike. And like, everybody says, oh, you, uh, ow. You know, you shouldn't get a big engine for your first bike, blah, 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 it's dangerous, yada, yada, yada. But really, as long as you're comfortable on a bike, you will have confidence on a bike. And also, if you're smart, you won't do something stupid. So...
Let's go back this way. So yeah, and like you can do whatever you want, but I don't think starting out with a 250 or 300 is very uh, is a good idea unless you're like really uncomfortable on a bike because. If you start out with something that size, it's kind of pointless then to, well, not pointless, but you're going to want to upsize very quickly. So you're going to spend a few thousand dollars and then you're going to have to try to sell the bike, regain your losses, and buy another bike that is more expensive. So it's just more hassle. And really this bike, I bought it back in... 2014 and it's now 2017 and I still have it and it only has 52 or 5,500 miles on it but that's because I just don't drive it or ride it that much but um I definitely want to start riding a lot more especially now since I want to start metavlogging on a daily basis or weekly basis I guess so, yep. Alright, and now closing out this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't already.